What's up guys, in this video we'll take a look at how to create this flickering light effect in Unreal Engine and you'll also learn how to use some common trigonometry functions to actually create this. So it's pretty simple uh, shader that we'll write. So let's get started. So this is a pretty open standard third person template. So you will actually create a new project with third person and then make sure you have a starter assets selected. And then I'm doing control L and actually changing the direction of the sun here. I'm trying to make it pretty dark here so it's easy to, you know. Now let's go ahead and add a spotlight in here. And by default, the spotlight isn't that bright. So to go ahead and place it where we want. Um, it's very easy to see and in here you'll change the uh, spotlight intensity you see 8 CD to so change that to 100 and pretty bright so that we can see the effect that we are creating okay now this is the setup we need from uh, the items and now we'll just go ahead and create a new material go ahead and type mm flickering or whatever name you want to give okay and once that is done, so double click on the material. And what we'll do is we'll actually create, write a shader. To understand the shader, we'll use a sign function. Um, so I'll show you a graph here shortly uh, to help you understand. So this is a graph of a shine y equal to sine x. So you see it goes from zero to one and then to zero and then minus one and then back to, you know, zero and then one. So this is how it modulates. So we'll use that zero and one as an um, off and on mode, and that helps us to give that flicker. And for that, we'll also use a time because with the time, we want to change that flickering as well. So after I added the time node, I'll add another parameter. So you click S and then click with the mouse, and then you could give this as a flicker ratio. We'll use this time and a flicker ratio and multiply it together and so that both needs to go to the sine function to do that we'll multiply them together and once that is multiplied um, we'll plug it into sine and we can actually start previewing right here and you'll see that it's actually going that on and off but it doesn't have that flicker effect yet because it's going from zero to one and then back to zero and then minus one so um, pretty predictable right uh, but we want the flicker effect so for that we'll actually use a frac node so frac would actually give you that flicker because it would convert it, well it basically clamps from the sign input from which goes from um, 0 to 1 to minus 1 to actually go to 0 to 1 next we'll change the light function to the material type and we'll plug it to the emissive material, emissive color actually. And then what we'll do is um, in the spotlight, if you scroll underneath, you'll see there's a light function material. And this is where you will drag and drop the mm underscore flicker material that you just created. And there you go. You can see there's a flickering light. It was pretty quick, easy to create, and hopefully you also understood some technical art uh, side of it, like using basic uh, sign function to create. Hopefully this was helpful, and yeah, I'll see you on the next video.